It's been quite the tumultuous launch. Hmm, tumultuous? My vocab is getting crazy, fellas. The launch has been wild, man. Mixed opinions all over the place about current gen NBA 2K21. Let's get into it. First of all, if y'all new to the channel, uh, we kind of do this stuff here daily. Subscribe to the channel. I just finished getting all the badges on my sharpshooter. I'm not going to drop a badge video. I put out a tweet if you guys care how I did it. But I will be playing my first part game. That upload is going up tomorrow. It should be good. And I might stream today. I'm streaming two, three times a week. So if y'all want to see any, any bit of any one of those itty bitty types of content, Subscribe. All right, uh, wow, let's get into it. So on launch day, of course there's gonna be problems on launch day. I've very rarely ever seen a game come out and there's no problems at launch. You just kind of hope the problems are, um, what's the word when like you can just, it's, it's, it's at a size at which you can handle it. Please leave your message for- God damn it. Yeah, I'm recording a video, I need your help. Okay, you'll be fine. What's the word when like something is at a size where like you can handle it? Like, you know, just a reasonable size for you to deal with the problem. Manageable. Yes, thank you. All right, enjoy your shit, man. Manageable, wow. And he didn't even make it through high school, that's crazy. So things began at launch day because there were problems with people getting their VC. Those who pre-ordered the Mamba edition of the game weren't getting their 100,000 and people that bought VC that had nothing to do with the Mamba edition was just not getting the VC that they bought. 2K Support put out a tweet saying, we are aware of some of you not getting your bonus content and VC purchases. They are not lost and should be resolved over the next few hours. When I saw this tweet, I went to sleep and woke back up and it still wasn't resolved for me. It took 12 hours for me to get my VC. Then of course, when everybody got on the game, we all know everybody was freaking out about the shooting. Man, there was no shortage of just absolute hot takes that night. But Badge Plug was on Twitter trying to calm everybody down. Dude's already saying shooting sucks and have no shooting badges, no hot spots, no jump shot boost, 56 three point rating and a bad jump shot. Come on now. Look at my last vid. The shooting will get better. I'm starting to shoot 70, 80% of game now. I call cap here on this number. Uh, but I do, I do believe he's telling the truth about the rest of the stuff. <laughs> So days went by and now that everybody has their badges and everybody's starting to shoot a little bit better, people are starting to calm down. It's definitely more challenging than it was last year, but it's more of a skill to the thing this year. So now that a few days have gone by, I've gotten a chance to get all my shooting badges. A bunch of my shots are going in that weren't going in on day one of launch, which is what we expected. Same thing that happened in NBA 2K20. You don't have no badges, your player not gonna shoot well. You don't have no hot spots. You don't even know what jump shot to use. There's infinite reasons why you were breaking all your shots. But I am kind of confused why 2K went this route. Look, I've been sitting here forever on this channel and asking for multiple things, and some of it includes like, you know, proximity chat, a skills gap for them to hire more devs, all kind of new parks, new content, all of that. But the one of the biggest things I've been asking for is ranked unranked. I love skills gaps in video games. They give like the game a purpose. There's a challenge, there's a reason for you to play and get better. But man, 2K, I don't know if this is the right play because I know that there's plenty of games I'm a casual in. I genuinely believe in two, three weeks, if 2K begins to see their numbers plummet because a bunch of the casual players that don't want to try that hard when they're on the park start playing on the park shooting one for 30 they're gonna get turned off from the game they're gonna stop playing the game when 2k sees that i feel like they might reverse fall and buckle to the pressure as they do in most years and make the game easier to play and the, the solution is not to make the game really easy to play across the board I'm sitting here telling y'all the solution has always been ranked unranked. What I thought they were gonna do was make Pro-Am the ranked competitive experience and Park the casual experience. But because Park now kind of feels competitive with the shooting sliders, people have no choice but to just try hard. You might even find it challenging to get games because everyone's trying to get their goddamn win percentage up and people wanna play with good players because if you're breaking all your shots, who's gonna wanna play with you? So I'm sitting here thinking to myself like, man, it, it does feel good to have a skills gap, but isn't this gonna murk the player base of the game, that's what I'm thinking. 2K, this is the solution to the problem you are going to face in two weeks. It is fine to have a competitive park experience, cool. But you have to give the casual people something to kick back on. Park is not kickback right now. Park is this right here. Focus, try hard gameplay, which is fine for me. I prefer it. I'm telling you there's games where I wouldn't want to do that though. Cause in some games, I kind of just want to be casual. And for a lot of people, 2K might be that game. So I am saying there has to be a ranked park and an unranked park. There has to be some kind of split or 2K will buckle and make the whole experience easier. I'm telling you how this it goes. Hey, hold on, Peter's finally calling me back. Hey, Peter, I need your opinion for a video. Uh, what, what do you think about the shooting in NBA 2K21 so far? I think that you shouldn't have to play robots for 100 hours to be able to shoot, because I honestly think if you do that, you're fine. But have you? Yeah, I played the robots too, and I agree that 
it is very corny and I don't like it. Anyway, um, 2K, I'm letting y'all know that's a problem you're gonna face. Um, but you'll you'll realize that because you guys have your numbers. You, you guys can see the player base go down. It will inevitably go down. Not because the game's not good, but because not everyone's up for that experience. That's the same reason The Last of Us 1 died on multiplayer. Believe it or not, one of the most underrated multiplayers, but every game I have to try hard. Even the competitive guys want to kick back from time to time. Just letting you know, all right? But then we began hearing murmurs of that change on day two of the game's launch. It started with Annoying on Twitter who said this. Shooting just got a hot fix just now according to Mike Wang, hashtag NBA2K21. No update or close app needed. They don't need to drop a patch to up sliders anymore. It's been like that for years where they could just update the game and it'll say um, update required. You have to go back to the main menu. It's been like that for years. Uh, but when Annoying put this out, everyone was like, hold on, it's day two. There's already changes being made, making the shooting easier? All the competitive guys are furious because there's finally a skills gap in shooting is being murked on day two. But Ronnie2k quickly hopped on Twitter to tell everyone that that wasn't the case. He said this, there was no hot fix, nothing to see here, skill gap remains, rejoice. And it did feel like people rejoiced. The replies was incredibly positive. Troy Dan said, way to put your foot down for the culture. Joe Knows hit him with a quick little W, AMP. Duke with the yes sir. Everybody across the board that really, really plays Park was excited about that. Ronnie2k followed up saying, wrong. He told you he was gonna turn off the wind on twos temporarily to test. Check with us before you say something crazy, lol. LD2k doubled back and said, this is correct. No shooting fix, gameplay team and Mike are looking at all feedback. But then everybody began to meme because Ronnie, Ronnie, like it's not clear when he's joking. Do you guys remember in 2K17 when Ronnie was like, you guys are gonna get underwater parks and Yeezys and we didn't get none of that stuff, but we dead ass were, were expecting underwater parks? It's cause Ronnie doesn't know how to tell jokes. It's not obvious when Ronnie's being sarcastic ever. Uh, so everyone began to kind of run with the meme. Wind, wind affects jump shots. That's why they have right stick aiming. So you can aim left if the wind is blowing right. I'm on to something. <laughs> Which is by far the most hysterical response we've seen all day. <laughs> Badge Plug put out a tweet saying, wind as in perceptible natural movement of air, especially in the form of occurrence of air blowing in a particular direction in the park? And someone's top response was, it's windy as fuck in my, my career too, LMAO. <laughs> Oh my God, you gotta love the 2K community, man. <clears throat> AMP Davis was on Twitter. He said, y'all really complained day one? Sad. LMAO, the game hasn't even been out for 24 hours yet and people are already crying about shooting. I haven't even played a park game and they already changed it because people was complaining too much. Mitchell, who works for 2K, even replied to Duke's post with a facepalm. So then, okay, cool. Nothing changed with shooting. That's what we thought. Until a few hours later when the official NBA 2K Twitter account posted this. 2K21 shooting hotfix will hit tomorrow for rookie pro all-star difficulty levels. Shooting stays the same on higher difficulties and neighborhood. Hope this helps the newcomers keep the feedback coming. So now we don't know what to believe. Annoying saying there was a hotfix that already dropped because Mike Wang said so. Ronnie LD 2K is saying no, 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 that's not the case. Then the official account comes out and says, no, there is an update, but that's for lower difficulties. This also applies for my team as well. Well, and I'll say this, I understand this fix right here. I feel like for the most part, everybody was for this. Cause when you're playing on rookie or pro or all-star, you kind of just want to chill, especially on my career. You don't want to have to try that hard. But there also needs to be like a competitive experience somewhere in the mix. This tweet from 2K kind of cleared up all the confusion because there was a lot of back and forth. But for the most part, it was very well received. Ronnie2K quote tweeted saying, happy medium, for happy gaming. But that wasn't the only problems the game was facing and we know 2K is abysmal when it comes to launches, all right? We've been known that. But for the most part, I mean, up until this point, there were people that didn't get their VC, there was blue screening going on, but for the most part, this has been one of the better 2K launches. Badge Plug was trying his hardest to spread some positivity. He was on Twitter saying, this is by far the best day one in 2K history. No rep frozen, everything is smooth, no lag outs, great job 2K, seriously. I'm very happy with the game so far. Now, there has been cases of people I've heard now where the rep has frozen or they're not getting badge progress but i remember last year it was a huge problem where a it's decent amount of the people playing the game had to deal with problems like that but these are very few and far between this year and i don't know why that is because i feel like they're not trying this year so i feel like i'd expect the most problems but that hasn't been the case so far that didn't stop people though from getting frustrated you know you you, you order 100k vc you ordered like the mom edition whatever whatever and you don't get your vc you're frustrated about the situation to the point where 100k vc was trending on twitter 
Stax put out a post saying, 100k VC is trending right now, LMA, yo. I wish the problems ended there though. The My League, My GM community was absolutely furious with the launch of NBA 2K21 because not only did they feel like their game mode got zero attention, they feel like the few changes that were made genuinely made the game mode worse, which you'd struggle to believe is a reality that's possible, but is a reality that just happened. King of the fourth quarter felt like he was fed up with the situation. He put out a post on Twitter saying this, help me out. If you find crazy roster inconsistencies like this, please tweet them at me. And he's referring to a tweet that kind of blew up. It has 17,000 likes and it's outlining some of the just obvious flaws with the roster system this year. Lou Williams has it having a higher speed than Darian Fox. Giannis having a higher mid-range than Kawhi Leonard and then a bunch of people nobody cares about and this even applied to the frequencies PJ Washington had a zero three-point frequency but Marquise Chris had a 40 that make no sense it just feels like a lot of this stuff was rushed and I was talking with Nick's click while we was playing park the other day we dropped a video over on his channel by the way I'm gonna link that one in the description we had a lot of fun if you didn't catch the stream and he was explaining to me all the ways in which my league my GM is just worse this year than it was last year and it's as simple as like they don't even update photos for players over the course of two years the tendencies and the attributes are just flat out inaccurate when it comes to a lot of players and there's nothing there's zero new things added to the mode it's the same stuff from last year it's just worse because now it starts in the middle of the season they just gave everybody in one year contracts to compensate it's such an interesting situation because you know that if there's any place that they're going to take their attention from to make sure that the game sells well is going to be my jam miley so they just are often neglected kind of like how the pc community has been for the last decade there was a little bit of good news in all of this because king of the fourth quarter followed up on twitter saying i just talked to the 2k roster team they're putting out a patch to fix a lot of the inconsistencies in the rosters in NBA 2K21. So expect fixes to tendencies and all. Now I say this, for the most part, you know what I'm saying, uh, Mike Wang is killing the game. Yeah, I I'll never forget when Mike Wang left 2K and the company went to shambles and then he came back and they dropped the greatest 2K of all time. Like that to me is like, man, you must be a special kind of person if you had that kind of impact. And Mike Wang gets a lot of sh because he's the main guy you look at when it comes to gameplay. When there's a gameplay problem, you just blame Mike Wang. But for the purposes of this video, I want to clarify. Mike Wang told, I right, listen, this is what I was told is that he's working on the next gen version. I don't think he has nothing to do with the current gen version that just came out, except maybe a few features that transfer over. Like I think they're gonna have the same finishing system and shooting system that they introduced this year. But I feel like Mike Wang is just being asked to say because he put out this tweet that in my opinion is some of the dumbest I've seen in a very long time. Try zooming your camera in if you're having trouble with the shot meter. It might reduce your court visibility, but make shooting easier in my opinion, especially right stick aiming. This could be a good trade off. So you might be thinking like, if the if the problem is that the shot meter is so small that we could barely use it, the solution can't possibly be to zoom in. The solution has to be to make the shot meter bigger. This is the worst tweet I could have imagined. Like me and Lower laughing hysterically when this tweet released. Cause I'm like, man, that's what you think the solution to the problem is right now? And the reality is, is I don't think Mike Hank. And the reality is, think. And the reality is, I don't even think Mike Wang has nothing to do with this. <laughs> But he is the one that's gonna catch the heat for saying something like this because it came out his goddamn Twitter account. And so it becomes even more interesting because Shake and Bake was in the archives. He quote tweeted saying, again, when is this coming? And it was referencing to a concern someone had asking Mike Wang to make the shot meter bigger when uh, the demo came out and Mike Wang tweeted saying it'll be bigger in the final game. So something happened in between the demo launch on the 24th on Kobe day and the game's launch because they just gave up on trying to make the shot meter bigger. So the shot meter is just a right off this year. I turned mine off. I have no intention on using the shot meter. There's plenty of new mechanics added to the way you play the game this year. And so a lot of people are just finding ways to adjust and the balance might be very, very off. And one of the communities of people that's been frustrated is the dribbling community. Because although dribbling feels faster and there's more combinations of stuff and that part is exciting, when it comes to well, I would just let Davis take it away. Are there ankle breakers in this game? No one has gotten one yet. And, and when you start to think about that for a moment, you've been playing the game. Have you seen an ankle breaker? I've been playing with some good guards and I haven't seen them hit ankle breakers. You might be like, Agent, but do they have their badges? Yes, they do. Are they maxed out? 95 overall, 99? Mm -hmm. Yep, they are. But they're not getting not one ankle breaker in their Hall of Fame. Hall of Fame ankle breaker. G-Man followed up saying, ankle breakers don't exist. Please look into it, Mike. I had Hall of Fame ankle breaker and tight handles with the Playmaker takeover and bro just looked at me. I can't even break a computer. Of all the issues 2K is dealing with, I'm happy Troy Dan is uh, taking a shot at this one here. <laughs> How do mics on 2K21 sound even worse this year? And it might have sounded like I was being sarcastic, but I'm being very serious. Yo, can I tell you guys a quick story? When I play Valorant, I use my try-hard professional mic that's right out the can. This one right here. 
It's like an $800 microphone, right? It's a good mic with a good mixer, good quality everything. When I turn on my mic and talk in game on Valorant, people regularly say to me like, yo, what, what mic is that? You sound incredible, that's great quality. Do, have you ever heard anyone say that to you guys on 2K? No, because no matter what mic you use, you sound like dog and it ruins the experience, man. If I wanna be loud, I have to also remember that I'm gonna sound like garbage to the people across the world that I'm playing with. So it's like, that's such a simple fix. Just make the audio quality better on the park. It would be nice if there was an option to talk to the other team on Pro-Am too. I feel like the fact that that's not in the game is weird. Why do we stop at park? On park, you can talk to the other team, but on Pro-Am, you're not allowed to? Come on, I wanna talk to the other team on Pro-Am as well. So Troy Dan, thank you for drawing light to an issue that's often ignored, but to me, it's just a quality of life update. It just makes the game uh, more of an ease to hop on and enjoy it just doesn't get in the way of your fun and probably for me the biggest issue that 2k was having and is one that duke hit on and we'll get to in a moment is the servers now you guys know how much i care about latency and for the most part i don't talk about it that much anymore because i'm starting to lose hope that it's ever going to get better and you know when i play on pc i just tend to experience 15 milliseconds ping 8 milliseconds ping at the worst i'll get 30 milliseconds ping you know when i play call of duty if i get 50 i'm a little bit frustrated 50 ping on my servers east servers that's frustrating but on 2k when you're playing on 250 millisecond ping what it feels like that is not a good gameplay experience especially when you drop the green window to be this small if you have servers that's changing latency every 24 7 it's gonna make it impossible to have a consistent shot not only that but every part of the game begins to feel sluggish and slow like you're walking through molasses that to me is not a good quality gaming experience and it's an easy fix all it takes is to buy more servers not hard it's not even your infrastructure 2k you guys are i'm pretty sure you guys are using amazon web services just spend more money on it. It'll make the experience better for everybody. Unfortunately, servers is one of the things where like, when it's done, nobody talks about it. Like I rarely ever talk about how great the tick rate on Valorant is, right? But when it's done horribly, it's all everybody talks about. When you lag out of games, when you're skipping, the frame is dropping, you're getting 12 frames per second. That's all you talk about. So it feels like again, 2K with the servers is doing the absolute bare minimum. Duke put out this tweet saying, why is the whole East Park server broken? Been broke all day. Every park I load into, all courts don't work. Not only are all courts not working, but there's been plenty of people I've talked to that said that there's delaying still in the game. So so Delayers are just hopping in the game and attacking people and 2K is doing nothing about it. Playmakers though had some more criticism for the gameplay and uh, it's one that I feel like everybody would agree with, especially if you have a max player. Cold Man was on Twitter uh, campaigning for more stamina. He says, I'm getting Gatorade symbol in a park game with double stamina bar. Fix stamina, fix stamina, fix stamina, fix stamina, fix stamina, fix stamina. And he said fix stamina like a few more times. Stamina needs a buff and there are no ankle breaker animations. Swante replied to that saying, come on young Michael. <laughs> <laughs> we need you. Hey, how you know his full name is Michael, man? Swante, you got his government, man? It's been quite the launch so far. I'm expecting more things to go wrong, though, as time goes on. But I'm hoping that that's not the case. That's not what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping that everything goes smooth, man. Hey, 2K, in a list of priorities, what I think you should handle. One, do the simple fixes, like better um, game audio when you're when you're in the mics. Just that simple. It's, I, I think it might take one person to be able to do that. Second is the servers, because that really just costs money, right? Just buy more server capacity sake man i shouldn't be playing on 250 millisecond ping give every player more stamina it's a 3v3 park game we're getting gas on the way up the court come on man i'm not even sprinting no more when i play 3v3 prime and by the end of the game i'm still getting gas and last but not least give people an experience a casual experience alongside the competitive experience it's not about choosing which one you want one or the other and that's the only one you can have it's nice to dabble between the two one time i want to play competitive next time i want to play casual i guess depending on who you're playing with or what you're doing the time of day or how you're feeling you want to be able to choose am i chilling today or am i going try hard if y'all new to the channel man you haven't already make sure to drop a like subscribe to the channel we're almost at 1.6 million try and get to two mil fellas before the end of the year let's see if we can get there all right thank you guys for watching i'm gonna catch you guys in the next upload i'm out